thing that you gon' be like, hey, hey. We the champion, yes, you see us, you gon' be like, hey, hey. Purple and teal, hit the light steel, feel the beat like, hey, hey. Welcome to the South Atlanta Hornets Bus TV. The broadcast that spotlights what's happening at the best high school in the city of Atlanta. We are proud scholars of South Atlanta High School, a STEAM school where our mission is to work daily to change the mindset of who we are and what we can be. While our vision is a school that builds future leaders who will one day have a lasting impact in their communities and ultimately change the world. This year's theme is to be excellent on purpose. And we're going to do that by leveling up. Well, today is November 9th, 2023. I am Jen. And I am R. Welcome to another day of teaching and learning live at the Hive. Calling all scholars. Are you missing credits? Are there any classes that you must make up? If you answered yes, Twilight School is for you. Credit recovery classes started last week. Classes will be held on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. A snack and transportation will be provided. See any of our counselors for registration. Now, we have a message from our South Atlanta Mosa team. What's up, Hornets? Our South Atlanta Hosa is all geared up for SLC. We invite you to come grow with us in the field of healthcare. We meet every Thursday at 4 in room E307. There, we will be preparing, practicing, and perfecting our skills and for our healthcare competitions. So if you want to join Hosa, join us next Thursday and every Thursday moving forward so that we can prepare for our competitions and go off to Texas. Thank you. Hosa, if you're thinking about joining, it is a really cool organization to be a part of. And speaking of cool, guess what else is cool? Mm, I don't know. Tell us what is cool, Mar. Participating in Computer Science Education Week and the School Tech Fair. I bet. And on that note, let us turn over to Miss Winston to provide more details. Greetings, Hornet Nation. Miss Winston coming to you live from the Hive to give you some information about Computer Science Education Week. It's coming, it's fastly approaching. It will be here when, same time it is every school year, the first week of December. And we have some amazing things that will be lined up for you. Um, and the last day of Computer Science Education Week will be our school-wide tech fair. So let me give you a little more information about the tech fair, because each day during Computer Science Education Week, will be focused on exposing you to the different categories. And then that final day, we'll have our tech fair. We'll have some judges come in to judge the projects that have been submitted, give you some feedback, and be ready to announce who will be advancing on to the district level competition. So first off, what are those categories? There are several, as you can see on the screen. The first one is 3D modeling. If you're working on some amazing things in maybe your visual arts classes or perhaps your math or science classes, you can do 3D modeling there or any of your CTAE classes. If you're interested, interested in 3D modeling and you want to get some additional support for your project, come see me on a Tuesday or a Thursday in the Innovation Cafe right here. The next category is animation. We've had some good experiences with our animation projects that have gone on to the state level competition. Um, three years in a row, we've had animation projects to place um, at the district level and advance on to the state level. So will you be the next person that submits an animation project? Audio production, last year, first place in audio production for the project that was submitted at the district level, and it went on and advanced on to the state level competition. For those who are interested in doing a podcast or those who are interested in making beats, if you're in Mrs. Bush's music tech class, we should be getting some projects for you in the audio production category. I can't wait to see what you produce. Um, device modification, those are that's a really good challenging category. Digital game design, I understand that we perhaps have some students here at South Atlanta that have the talent of designing games. Digital photo production, 
If you're in Ms. Taylor's class, I'm going to be looking for projects from, from you. If you're a part of the Hornets Buzz News Team or the South Atlanta Times, I'll be looking for projects for you for the photo production category. Graphic design, I know we have several students who are really good at making flyers, posting them on social media, um, designing things for businesses. We should see your talent in this competition. So submit those projects. You can use Canva, you can use Photoshop, you can use Adobe Express. There's a limit list of different types of apps that you can use to produce your graphic design. Internet applications. This is another category that we have seen a quite a deal of success. Two different years, we have had projects that advanced onto the state level for internet applications. You can be next. Mobile apps, we have a group here at South Atlanta that's working on some mobile apps. Can't wait to see um, the team that works with Empower in the morning to see what you're going to submit. Best wishes to all of you. Multimedia application. Now, I know that we have several students who do an amazing job with PowerPoint for all of your classes. Um, Keynote, if you have a Mac, Google Slides, Canva, all of these different types of applications can create multimedia presentations. And I know some of you are doing a wonderful job with that, and we want to see them in this competition. Productivity design. Who does a wonderful job with creating reports that you submit using Microsoft Word, Google Docs. Um, if you do a really good job in putting graphs on presentations that you're submitting or reports that you're doing, book reports or a summary or a newsletter that you've created, all of that falls under the category of productivity. So don't be afraid. Don't shy away. You can do a productivity project. Project programming is a category as well as robotics. And last but not least, video production. Now, where are our TikTok kings and queens? We want to see what you have for the video production category. And those who are interested in being a part of Hornets Buzz or even some of our current members of Hornets Buzz, be encouraged, video production. And Hornets, please do not wait till the last minute to start working on these projects. Start right away. Start today. Because when Computer Science Education Week comes, you want to just be in the position where you're practicing and rehearsing your pitch and not necessarily starting your project. Okay, can't wait to see what you submit. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Remember, you can come to the Innovation Cafe on Tuesdays and Thursdays to get advice or to work on your projects. You all take care. Ta-ta for now. Thanks, Ms. Winston. It sounds exciting. And I am going to start working on my project this month. Me too. What category? I'm going to submit a video production project. What about you, Mark? I am thinking about submitting a multimedia project this year. Nice. Well, guys, like Ms. Winston said, don't wait for Computer Science Education Week to start working on your project. Get a head start this month. That's right. You told them, Jen. Now, on to another exciting competition for Hornets to shine. Young Georgia Authors is calling all writers. Bring your best poem, essay, or even research paper. Submissions are due next Friday, November 17, 2023. See Ms. Anderson or Ms. Barner for further details. Now, on to world news. The war in Israel continues. According to the Hamas run Palestinian Health Ministry, the total numbers of deaths in the 31 days of fighting is 10,022, including 4,102 children. As you may recall, we reported on the communications outage last week. Good news. This week, CNN reported that Local cell phone providers gave an update on Israel's internet blackout, stating that communication services are slowly returning in some parts of Gaza after they were cut out across the Palestinian enclave. On the brighter side, at least communications are being fixed, and families can communicate now. It is that time of our show where we will put the spotlight on Hornets caught being great. We have been showcasing those Hornets who are doing great things on and off the camera. 
So if you know of any great deeds to have gone unmentioned, please use the link below in the description of this video to submit that information to us. This could be to recognize a special teacher, support staff member, or administrator. It can even be used on a fellow classmate, parent, or guardian. If it is a great deed performed by a member of the Hornet Nation, we want to hear and make a big buzz about it. This week, Dr. Ford would like to recognize Mr. Colte and our drama team for winning the 6AA Region Championship. Nice job, drama team. Well, it is almost that time, but before we sign off, let's recite the school creed. I am a Hornet, responsible for what I become. I am a Hornet, not quitting until the race is won. I am a Hornet. I stand with dignity and pride. I am a Hornet, pushing all small things aside. I am a Hornet. There will never be another like me. I am a hornet. Standing tall, being all I can be. I am a hornet, a leader. I show no fear. I am a hornet. South Atlanta, the school I hold dear. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. And have a great day of teaching and learning. Remember to like and subscribe. We pledge our loyalty. Through sacrifice and love, goes we humbly strive for Thee. O Alma Mater, You are dear, dear Alma Mater. We proudly hail Thy name. Through the years of happiness, joys, and tears, We'll dedicate our lives to you. Hail to South Atlanta. We'll always praise thy name. Through the years, we'll work each day with pride and dignity. Oh, South Atlanta, we love you. To you are dear, South Atlanta will always love you.